What do you think of when you hear the word sacrifice? Today, sacrifice has come to mean simply giving up something for the sake of others. But in ancient times, sacrifice was always associated with bloodshed. In the Old Testament, the Israelites would offer animal sacrifices to God as a sign of their devotion. It is in this context that, in one of the most gut-wrenching stories of the Bible, God commanded Abraham to present his own son as a sacrifice. Genesis 22, verses 1 through 2. After these things, God tested Abraham and said to him, Abraham, and he said, Here I am. He said, Take your son, your only son Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah, and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains of which I shall tell you. Can you even begin to imagine how Abraham must have felt in that moment? He had waited years and years and years for the birth of Isaac. God had promised Abraham that his descendants would be more numerous than the stars in the sky. And yet now, he was asking him to give up his only son. Many of us would have asked the Lord, what kind of test is this? And I believe it would have been easy for Abraham to argue with God or to react with outrage. But Abraham did exactly what God commanded. Genesis 22 verses 10 through 12 reads, then Abraham reached out his hand and took the knife to slaughter his son. But the angel of the Lord called to him from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here I am. He said, Do not lay your hand on the boy or do anything to him. For now I know that you fear God, seeing you have not withheld your son, your only son from me. Abraham took an amazing leap of faith, and God rewarded him. He didn't know that God would spare Isaac, but he knew that whatever God's plan was, it was much better than his own limited understanding. He did not withhold even his son from God. Now, I don't know about you, but I truly desire to have this kind of faith this level of obedience, such commitment to be able to say whatever it takes, Lord, and mean it. Today, if God asked you to sacrifice anything for his sake, do you think there are things that you would withhold? Are there areas of your life that you would consider off limits? Is there a certain relationship, a certain sin, that you would choose to have above obedience to God. As Christians, we're called to live a lifestyle of sacrifice. Today, we might not spill the blood of bulls and goats on altars, but we are called to lay down our lives as living sacrifices to God each and every day. Romans 12 verse 1. I appeal to you, therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. When we come to Jesus Christ, there is a part of us that dies. It's our old nature, the self that is bent towards selfishness, pride, and evil. That self, it has died with Christ. And we are then raised to become new creations. It is no longer we who live, but Christ who lives in us. We have to die to ourselves every day. And often, that means giving up certain things or sacrificing certain things. It might mean giving up a wealthy lifestyle to better support the ministry of the gospel. 
It might mean walking away from old friendships that hinder us from following Christ. Whatever it means to you, do whatever it takes, my brother. Do whatever it takes, my sister. Do whatever it takes to please the Lord. Lord Jesus, I want to thank you for the perfect example of selfless love that you've given. You gave up the riches of heaven to walk this wretched earth. You allowed yourself to be beaten, mocked, and crucified. And you did it just for me. You did it on my behalf so that I may be free. Lord, you paid the ultimate price so that I might have eternal life. And in light of that, how could I withhold anything from you? God, you didn't spare anything for me, not even your only son. So help me to remember your ultimate sacrifice, especially in those moments when I feel like holding on to things that you're calling for me to let go of. Holy Spirit, I pray that you would help me to present my body as a living sacrifice. I want to be holy and acceptable to God. Holy Spirit, help me to resist the devil and not give in to any ungodly passions. Give me a willing heart. I desire a willing spirit. I want to give up everything for you, Lord Jesus, because you gave it all for me. Your word in Luke 9, verse 23 says, if anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Lord, give me the strength to take up my cross each day and follow you. Father, I know you call me not to a life of comfort, but to a life of service, to a life of sacrifice. And I know that this life won't be easy. To follow you is to give up every other allegiance. To follow you is to walk on the narrow road. Father, I'm willing. I'm willing to follow you. Because you're of far more value than anything I could ever lose. I let go of every idol in Jesus' name. I rebuke every idol. In Jesus' name, Lord, give me a willing heart. Give me an obedient heart. Like Abraham, let me gladly lay down my most prized possessions and build you an altar of worship. I lay down my wealth, my family, my career. All these things are yours. They're yours to give and to take away. Even the breath in my lungs, it belongs to you, God. So again, I want to ask you to let my body be a living sacrifice to you. Holy and pleasing, set apart for service in your kingdom. Help me to build my life upon you. Even if it means I have to sacrifice, give me the courage to trade in good things for the best things that come only from you. Lord, whatever you call me to do, wherever you call me to go, may I do it gladly and without hesitation. Help me not to mourn the things I lose, but to rejoice in what I've gained. Your word says that whoever loves his life will lose it, but whoever lays it down, they will find it in the end. Lord, I lay my life before you now, trusting that whatever I give up, it'll be multiplied in eternity. Give me faith to stay the course. And may my life always reflect a willingness to sacrifice anything, a willingness to sacrifice everything to obey your perfect will. Jesus, I come before you with open hands. 
not asking anything. This time I come with open hands, withholding nothing. God, I withhold nothing from you. Whatever it is that I have that you're requiring, God, I give it to you. God, even if it costs me, I'll give it to you. Even if it hurts me, God, I'll give it to you. I don't want anything that I hold dear to come between me and you. Nothing shall separate me from you. And so, Father, I sacrifice. I withhold nothing from the one who owns all things. Lord, I thank you for hearing this prayer. In Jesus' name I pray, and I give you glory. Amen.